Okay, guys, I'm going to start off with using my NARS primer, and I'm just going to put it all over my eye and then work it all into my eye. Then I'm doing my brows, and this is Benefits Cabral in number five. It comes with an applicator on top, and that's what I'm using to fill in my eyebrows or create eyebrows because I have very sparse eyebrows or like none at all well I won't say none at all I basically my my brows are very thin I'm gonna say that they're thin so I'm gonna do that and basically create a little bit more of an arch and flick it out on the um, tail end and work in the center and also the inner part of the eye I try not to make it like a box brow in the center um, in the beginning, I wanted to look more natural, and I literally go um, back and forth, and then I kind of flick up, and then I also use my finger to blend it out a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to get into the concealer. I only conceal the under underneath my brows. I do not do on top um, because once I put my foundation on. I can do that um, just with the um, foundation. Um, that that concealer was Anastasia 6.0. And I'm using a synthetic brush from Sigma to blend that out. And then I go into my um, powder, um, brow powder <laughs> um, in Anastasia. And that is in dark brown. I use the lighter color first, and then I go into the darker color to um, fill in my brows. Now I'm using Max Lay and Low Paint Pot, still using that same synthetic brush that I use to blend out my concealer, and I'm just going to blend that all over my eye. Then I'm going to set it with Too Faced Peach um, Translucent Powder with a Bobbi Brown blending brush. I got this at a CCO um, in Vegas like seven years ago, I think, or, or you know, seven. Now I'm going into my Melt Stack, um, Rust, Melt Cosmetic Rust Stack, and um, it's in Rust. I'm using the, the um, lighter color on my um, brow bone. Um, I really had a problem with this um, stack. I really didn't I really didn't like it, and I felt like it was kind of patchy. Okay, now taking the next color up um, in that stack, um, as you can see, you really can't see the color that well on my eyelid, but I still um, wanted to try to use everything in it. Then I use the next color up, and well, actually, actually, that's just me using the same color from the other side. It's still, it's, I wanted you to get real close up to it. It's not really that pigmented on me, and it, I would have to really like superly build this up. So then I go into that um, yellow from the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. And I use that in my crease. And just um, using a, I think that's a Make It Forever um, blending brush to put that on. I really do think um, after I put on the brown colors, I kind of like hid all the work I just did. So, um, my... My point would be to go higher with um, the brown colors and then cut your crease because, you know, you don't want to hide all the work you just did. Now I'm going back into um, one of the um, colors from the Rust palette from um, Mel Cosmetics. It's kind of like a medium brown or kind of like a dirty brown. And I'm using that underneath that um, yellow. Then I'm going into that darker color. I'm jamming real hard to some music. 
Um, this is where I want to ride. Um, I went high. I should have went a little bit more higher with that color. And, um, well, no, not that color. The next color that I use is a more darker brown within that rust stack. But, um, yeah, go higher. Okay, I'm taking a Cassetti brush as a very small, defined brush, and this is where I went wrong. Um, I know I, I took it right into my, um, crease. I should have took it a little further up. Um... Actually, yeah, I should have did that with the other color, too. Just a little further up and then put this um, right on top of it. And it would have, um, you really would have saw the, the fine of the brown um, underneath it. I kind of went more yellow in the end. So, um, yeah, I'm blending that out. As you can see, like, too far into the crease. I should have went a little bit higher. But, okay, you live and you learn. So, um, just blending that out with that brush. I love that Cassetti brush. It really helps to where exactly you're trying to put things. So, um, now we're going into the concealer. And the concealer that I used was LA Girls Porcelain. And this is where, like, I went wrong. Um, the way I cut my crease, I was trying to make sure that um that it was even and um I didn't like fudge up on the actual cutting of the crease and I think by the end I ended up going a little bit higher than where I should yeah I did go a little bit higher um because I should have stayed right there in that socket and then went downward and what I ended up doing I probably messed up on my other eye and just ended up going higher As you can see, right there, that's where it should be perfect. And this is what I ended up doing. Um, as you can see on the other eye, the one I'm working on now, it just, you don't really see much of the brown. Um, I'm using that first color that I use on my brow bone in the inner part of my eye. And it was a lot of fall. You can see it fell onto my cheek. And then I tried to use that um, other color, like the lighter brown, and it just was not pigmented, and it would not blend with that, the color in the um, palette. It just wasn't, it wasn't working for me. It's too light, and it just, it, it's not, it's not going to work for me. I think I'm going to end up putting this, um, this stack in my kit, because this will look very well on more somebody that's lighter than me. So now I went into my Anastasia palette. I went in with Anastasia Subculture um, palette. And then on the outer part of my eye, I used that um, Melt Cosmetics Eyeshadow and Rust on the outer part of my eye. I did go back into... Uh, the Zulu palette and put a little bit more yellow because I wasn't liking the um the sculpting of the eye and I couldn't see that brown so I just blended the yellow and a little bit of brown um I used a wipe to uh, wipe out the excess on the outer part of my eye to wing it out a little bit more and now I'm going into Bobbi Brown's um eyeliner and black ink number one to wing out my eyes i'm using a i think this is a mac brush to do so and i didn't want it to be super super black i just wanted it to just um just enough black <laughs> i'm using Too Faced um hangover primer and then i used a new primer i've been using um touch a touch and soul um, primer is for, um, no more poor blums <laughs> primer. And I also use my Ever Matte, which where I went wrong. This foundation does not need, does, didn't need this type of, um, primer to it. 
it cracked on me all around my mouth and it was really bad and I think I want to try it again with just using a brush because I of course I use my beauty blender and this is a extremely matte foundation I should just use the brush it was like it cracked all around my mouth like a star like poo and I think that's the only where it, only part it cracked it a lot and I think uh, no I think in between my brows too and I used um um Too Faced um primer not primer concealer this is in dark and this is how I contour my nose I always go on the sides of my nose and also you know my um cheeks in when I um, put the concealer on my nose, I tend to use a brush because I want to be more precise with how I contour my nose. And I blend that out with my um, beauty blender. At first, I thought the color looked a little washed out on me. But once I used my contour stick, which is uh, Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Espresso. And contoured with my Makeup Geek contour powder. Again, I don't know why I stopped using Makeup Geek products. I have a lot of products from them. Um, that, that was half-hearted, a medium, um, warm medium color that I contoured my face with. And also set my face with Too Faces Peach. Um translucent powder and then I went into my Becca ever matte this is not ever matte Becca's um multitasking powder this is in warm honey that's just to okay now I'm going into my contour stick and that is espresso from Fenty Beauty and I'm also gonna use Coldly spray to spray my brush and then go into blending it all out. I use this smaller brush this time. That's just what I grabbed. And just blend, blend, blend that um, contour all in my face. All right, now I'm going into Half Hearted and Deal Breaker to um, set that contour into place. And that is from Makeup Geek. Um, absolutely love it. Then I went in, then I went into my Bare Minerals powder, I had to think about it, in um, Truffle 29 to set my whole face. Then I went into my MAC Re Mariah Carey um, Sweet Sweet Fantasy blush. And then I also... Went into my um, highlighter. I just got it. Had it for a couple weeks now. This is in crayon um, case. This is a Glola um, highlighter. It has a it has a like bronze and a pink to it at the same time. Really pretty. Um, put that all over my face because I went in and I'm a little extra. So I just um, just blend that all in. Yes, highlighter. Now I'm going into that darker color um, up under my eye. And then I also went with the highlighter in the inner, the highlighter that I use, a Glola, in the inner part of my eye. And I also set my face with the Caudalie spray. And then I got into my lips, which is Chestnut Lip Liner with Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. Really love that um, color, those two colors together on my lips. I love a nude, love a nude. So now I'm going to talk about everything I just, you know, told you and um, talk more than I should. So bye till next time and thank you for watching. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about the chewing. I just got a hold of some nihilators and it went down. It went down. Okay, um, right now I have one chestnut lip liner with Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. Okay.
at Von D. And also put a little bit of Marc Jacobs. I don't know why I did that, but kept Martin Jacobs um, enamored on my lips. And I have on this wig. Um, I have to put it in somewhere. I don't know. I don't know the name of it at this point in time. But I have one. Uh, 20, a 18, a 16 inch, and a 16 inch frontal. And I just finished cutting it and I've pressed this. This is like kinky. Um, this is textured um, hair, but I pressed it with my um, pressing comb and some Babyliss uh, flat irons. You. And also, I have um, knife Nightfall by Pope Riot with Aquadesic, Aqua, Aquatastic, or something, and um, Adores. What is it? Aquarium. I think that's what it is. Mixed together, and I lifted this hair to like a golden color. Not too blonde. Some pieces got very blonde, and that's so why I have this like aqua, dark blue. Cause like right now, it's just it's not giving the color what it is. It just looks black. Uh, but um, I have like green pieces at the bottom. I like it, but I wanted it to be more of a subtle um, color anyway. So this is. This is the vision of where I, I was going towards. So I'm really liking it. It's just fluffy. Okay. So uh, I used this YSL foundation. And it is, um, what is this? All hours foundation. Up to 24 hours, flawless matte, full coverage. The full coverage is real with this. It was able to cover my hyperpigmentation. I just went at first I was feeling iffy about the color and the concealer that I use with it because some of that concealer um, I felt like it pulled up the um, foundation but I use Born This Way's uh, Too Faced um, dark but I would probably use a different concealer with this but at first I thought the color on me was a little off until I just took some pictures and I realized it, it's a really good really good match really good match um highlighter i went with this crayon case um company is um a glow a glowa i use this it reminds me of bronze by mac that was um a highlighter look at very very pretty and i am digging this um foundation and the um coverage um what else oh and i also you finally got around to using my melt cosmetics it's all wrong up in here okay um my allergies is messing with me so i use this um blah 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 the melt cosmetics um stack this is in rust save your money on this <laughs> i am pissed with this first of all this color very chalky um i tried to put that in the inner part of my eye and uh, it worked a little bit but my eyes started to um i'm already going through like a little sinus issue but it was starting to crack up in here up in the inner part of up in there and then this what is it? I tried to, um, where is it? So it was that. Okay. I tried to put this one down next to it. It's like a peachy color, and it just wasn't, it was too opaque, and it wasn't, I wasn't getting the payoff that I was looking for. Like this with my finger, 
you know but this with a brush no it wasn't um it wasn't this it wasn't putting down enough pigmentation and i ended up going with my sub subculture palette by anastasia and i use roxy right here on my lid and okay i thought it was gonna fall and my crease um i did use one of my i used julius play zulu palette with that yellow in there and then i used this one this is rot maybe i used wait a minute i used rubbish first and then i used rot it's just ugh. and then i used rust and rust looks like that um all of these eyeshadows are super powdery which i wouldn't really care like other than this one this is the uh rut um this one um wasn't too powdery but i did use my smaller brush with this just uh precisely into my crease so maybe that could have been it but everything else i use like a brush um blending brush or whatever but they were all super powdery um the color is pretty it just the pigmentation isn't in all of them and i feel like they were just too hard to deal with because even like if i want to just use this all over my eye i feel like um i still feel like i'm missing something and there, there's some really good and i really wanted this color right here um i just think it's super powdery um and it just couldn't give me the complete look that i wanted to do that i wanted with just this i had to step out on it twice with my my juvia's place palette and then my subculture palette from anastasia just to pull what i wanted from this you know from this look um i also used my bobby brown ink um liner this liner is very it's not a very dark black but i was kind of going for that I, did, I wanted to use a colored liner but i couldn't think of what i wanted to use so i went with good old faithful black um it's not my favorite look but i feel like this is like someone that's you know don't want to play around with a lot of color and want to do a cut crease you know but i'm just not really like odd like oh my god these are amazing i just not i'm not feeling that with these I just but that's how i felt with um the other palette that um that i had by them which i broke and i and i put in my kit because I don't use them enough and I thought this I kept seeing so many looks with this rust palette I'm like I gotta have it and no, I don't like it I don't like it and I have used a lot of powdery um, shadows in this past month or two and this is just oh, it just it doesn't even like it's just like it's too many let's see this one isn't it's too powdery and it just it filled all over my face and it made my eyes water this one was powdery as well um really good in the crease though i really like that in the crease and i did like this one in the crease too super powdery as well but these two had good color payoff um this one did not have good color payoff at all I couldn't use it on my lid and I really I put this on first I think and then I went into the yellow and this is faded away this actually just like goes to another place this, it don't want to stick on your eye and this one was really good to darken up my crease but I feel like it should have been a little bit darker it would have been beautiful a little bit darker but hell. so I'm gonna say hard pass on this rust palette and i'm super late on doing a review on this but it's a hard pass i'm not i'm not thrilled or awed by this at all and i wasn't odd by the other one i don't know why i got sucked into the vacuum of instagram and watching all these people do amazing tutorials with this and i'm like Bleh. Bleh. i'm not i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling this 
title eh. so I think the next palette I'm gonna tackle because I haven't been able to really get into everything is my Cosette um, eyeshadows that I bought because I didn't even touch those yet and it's gonna be a bright look because most of the stuff that I bought all those colors I bought were very bright so we're gonna do one last um, I won't say last because I may just have feel the need the need for brightness during the fall so I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment subscribe subscribe and you can always follow me on Instagram and that's a quick way of talking to me because sometimes I just can't get on um, my um, YouTube page as fast as fast as I will be on my phone and I can get if you inbox me if you want to talk talk some makeup inbox me on my on my Instagram so bye till next time and thank you for watching